So everyone, hello, this is Miss Copera. I'm live here with period seven. Um, C9E is texting me. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get rid of that, but I love C9E, love it. Okay, here we go. Welcome to art class. You need different colors because we're doing perspective. We're doing all weekend. We're practicing uh, two point perspective until we master it. You know, you need your sharp pencils because you're, you're gonna do some shading. And you need your ruler. Mine is on the floor. What's wrong with me? Go ahead. Push up. Put your ruler. And I am convinced you guys are going to totally master this because um, you're rock stars. And I want everyone to re-watch and watch this and like and follow me on YouTube because I'm that art teacher. All right. Here we go. What's happening? First of all, um... Hopefully you've been drawing like boxes and stuff. And this is what you should have done on Tuesday. This should be posted to Seesaw. Wait, wait, sorry, this one. Okay, so this right here is one point, one point. Cause all of the converging lines, guys, are going to the same vanishing point. And um, right now on our Nearpod, we're proving to me that we understand the difference between parallel and perpendicular lines, right? And I want you guys to think about all of your horizontal lines with the horizon, all your horizontal lines in green, in green. So all of those horizontal lines are actually parallel lines, parallel, parallel. They would never intersect. So look back and check your old drawing right now. Go ahead and do it. Right now, as you're watching this video and liking me on YouTube, check to make sure that all the green lines are parallel. They would go on forever and never touch. And then all of your pink lines are perpendicular. So that's what we did Tuesday. Are you there? Did you do the challenge assignments? Where are you at? So I want you to think about that. And again, for one point, everything's going to one point. Write your name in one point. Draw that skyscraper building. Like, go crazy. Post it to Seesaw, and I, your grade will go awesome. Add some pen. Fabulous. This is That's where we are, we're at. But this is where we're going. Hopefully, everyone's going to post this drawing in a second to Seesaw. And then we're going to try to speed it up. We'll see. we got 30 minutes. We'll see how we do. Okay? So, before you get started... I would like you to go ahead and make this key. Please, pretty please make this key. What is a key? A key is a secret map that helps us to understand. Also, I just think color is just so helpful. And um, I have this famous friend named Miss Brano who used to teach at AJR. And she uses color for her notes because she's brilliant. So this is what our key is going to look like. I want all horizontal lines, like the horizon line, all horizontal lines to be in green. If you haven't done so yet, get your color pencils. Horizontal lines. I would like you to be in green. Horizontal. Green. I would like all... You don't have color pencils? You're supposed to get them in your chart. Do you have any sort of colors? You're supposed to get them in your bag. Do you have any, like a highlighter or something? Yeah, I got that too. You have two colors? Yeah, I think I got those. Oh. Hi, child. Converging lines one. Yeah, any colors will work. But you guys should have color pencils. You could go to AJR to ask for color pencils. Go to AJR after class to ask for your rulers. Converging lines, two. Okay. Um, Anthony, thanks for letting me know. If there's any supply issues, go and email me. Let me know. It's horizontal lines. Here we go. And guys, I'm going to film this so it might be easier for you to watch the video and like during academic prep, just practice, you know, because you can't do the cityscape. We're going to be drawing a city and you can't draw the cityscape if like your angles are all wonky. Do, do, do. Converging lines. Do, do, do. 
And then there are some converging lines that are, oops, I want to do that in yellow. There are some converging lines that are a little wonky, like they're difficult and they kind of confuse kids. I'm going to make the hard converging lines, converging lines two in yellow. Okay. Are you with me? Do y'all got a key? Five, I got a key. Um, one, miss, what are you doing? I don't understand. Wilson's like, I'm on it. You got oil pastels. I guess you could use oil pastels, Andy, but they're a little fat. Andy's like, five, 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 five. You guys didn't get color pencils? Did they give you guys oil pastels instead of color pencils? Yes. No? No. Miss, I only got a pencil. That's funny. And the book. Okay. Um, I will go over, like, we should do, like, a survey about supplies. So we'll do that. Okay. Let's just stick with that. But we all have rulers, hopefully, right? If not, you can use a piece of paper. You don't have a ruler, Let's see. Uh-oh. Okay, Let's see. You could do all of this with a piece of paper. They almost forgot to give me a book. Okay. <laughs> let's let's hold up on the complaining. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you're not complaining, guys. You're not. But it's good for me to know. Okay. Here we go. We're going to... They... Not from the school. Okay um not from the school so let's see you could go and get a ruler like this from ajr all right when you're thinking about perpendicular lines your vertical line because we're in landscape your vertical line is actually voila the side of your paper is a line so you want to make sure that your horizon line is perpendicular perpendicular to your um the side of your paper okay so i'm gonna go ahead and like if you go real close real close you see my ruler is kind of lined up to the side of my book so if i zoom out zoom out on zoom <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna make a horizon line that's a little higher on the page and it's gonna be horizontal because it's a horizon line okay it's going toward through my key. I'm sorry if that looks confusing. Okay, but it's actually like perpendicular. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to go ahead and this this is because this is horizontal, it's green. Okay. I'll zoom out. So you can see I have like this line across the page. All right. I, I you can have your horizon line up high, you can have it low. But it it <laughs> For blue and yellow? Converging lines. I'll write it in the chat. Okay. Con yeah, Andy's like, that's a pun. We're zooming on Zoom, guys. We're zooming on Zoom. I'm your teacher. I'll be here all week. Why isn't the chat working on here? Um, this 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 thing is not working. Uh, I can someone write converging lines in the chat? Convert I'll do it. Here. Converging chat. I didn't get any. Okay, we got to figure, stay, stay after for supply issues. Converging lines. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Brittany. Okay, so those are converging lines. Okay, so converging lines mean they go towards the vanishing point. Okay, so like all of these, the blue right here, those are our converging, converging, converging. Okay, converging, going towards the vanishing point. Okay, here we go. So, do we all have a horizontal line? The horizontal line should be at 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Wilson's like, yes, go faster. I But guys, tell me if I'm going too fast, seriously, because I'd be going too fast. I'd be extra. Okay, so here's my horizon line, okay? On the horizon line for two points, again, this is two point perspective, because there are how many points? Two. On the horizon line, you have two vanishing points. Vanishing point one and vanishing point two. The vanishing point can really be anywhere in the line. I don't like it when kids put it up to the paper because I feel like then they're hitting things wrong and they're not getting it. Okay. So you can even label it vanishing point one, vanishing point two. Two-point perspective, people. It's a beautiful thing. I love it. It improves your confidence, and it's going to help us with your city. Practice it all weekend. 
practice it all weekend. Perpendiculars. <laughs> what? Andy's being funny in the chat. Okay. So here, I am going to draw the edge of this box right here. I'm going to draw the edge right here. So this line has to be perpendicular. Go back. Okay. So here we go. Let's zoom in so we understand what's happening. Okay. So perpendicular is our friend. When we're doing vertical lines, they have to be perpendicular to the horizon line. Line up the ruler perfectly to the side. Then make sure it's 90. But look, I'm not putting my pencil down. I'm going to go dark because I want to be able to see the top of the box. And then I'm going to go ahead and I am going to give myself a short line right there. That is a vertical line, my friends. Vertical, 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 vertical. Okay, vertical. It is, my red lines are 90 degrees with this. So if this were to keep going up to the top, all my red lines, all of my red lines, if they had extensions, this would be a 90 degree angle. Perfect plus. That's why I do this with the side of the ruler. Okay. Can we do a different color instead of red? Yes. Um, you can do whatever color makes sense to you. Okay. So this line's really not there, right? Because it's a short box. Okay. And then, so this is like a trick that artists use. Now I'm going to connect the top and the bottom of the line to the vanishing point with converging lines. So I'm going to go light, light linears, going light with my lines. Light, connecting the top of the linea to vanishing point two, connecting the bottom of the linea to vanishing point two. Okay, are we there? Am I going too fast? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you guys there? Are you out there? If you're like, what is happening? You can always watch the YouTube video in slower motion. And you can pause it. I just uploaded this to YouTube. I uploaded the previous classes. Okay, but you got to talk to me in the chat. I need to know what's happening in this weird distance learning world. So again, this is vertical. Okay. These are my converging lines. Now, these are the ha these are the easier ones because it's clear. It's like, oh, yeah, I get it. Like, kids get this part. They get the blue part. So you can go real light. This is my converging lines, converging lines. Say it with me. Converging lines, converging lines. Say it with me. What's great about um, watching Miss Copera's YouTube channel is you can pause me. You can just hit stop. You're like, stop. But you have to have patience. You can't walk away and think that you're going to just learn how to draw. You can't walk away. Okay, are we all here? Can I have five if I'm here? One, if I'm like, what are you doing? What's happening? Not yet. Okay, Wilson's not there. Let me do a different. Okay. And is it Andy? Is it just Andy? Karen's a three. Who else is in here? Like, look, like, Andrea, are you here? I'm just looking. Hi, Andrea. Alberto, does your paper look like this? Angel, does your paper look like this? Are you out there, Angel? We're about to post this to Seesaw, y'all. Destiny, are you here? Talk to me, people. Gabriel, are you out there? Jose Duarte, are you here? Kanaya, how you doing? And you guys come off, talk to me. I'm going to go look. I'm going to look. I'm going to check, check my little zoomy thing. And I'm going to look at gallery view. Now, one of the teachers taught, must have taught you guys to turn your cameras completely off. Because I don't see anyone. But you could turn your camera on for a second. And I can look to the right and I can see you. Anyone want to do that? You could show up your paper. You don't have to show me your face. Just show me your paper. Check for understanding. Can't see you. Um, I am here, but not right now. Okay. I'm here. And Brittany's like, I'm here. People are probably on focus mode. I know. I know. They're probably in focus mode. They're like, what? I'm not even going to talk to you. Okay. Tell me if I need to stop. I'm going to go in slow motion. 
What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off the sides of the building with some vertical lines. Cut off the sides. So look right here. I'm going to kind of like end the building. I'm going to cut off the side. So I'm going to do that and you need to come in. Do, 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 do. Make sure it's at a 90 degree. 90 degree angle. Okay, so right up against the edge. Ruler's flat. Hold it down. That's why we have kind of like the cork one. Drop a line. Boom! Yes! And guess what? Extra, extra hot off the presses. This is a parallel. Oh, wrong color. This right here, this is a parallel line, guys. True story. These lines would never touch. They are perpendicular with the horizon line. If I go all the way to the top, if I go all the way to the top, this is a 90 degree. Okay. Did I lose you? Did I lose you, class? Are you out there? This is your teacher talking. Miss you so much. Are you out there? Karen, you're good? I love it. Nope. Okay. Here we go. Other side. Make sure it's lined up to the side. Oh, wait, Andrea just said something. Andrea, what did you say? Sorry, miss, I had to do something. Okay, guess what? This is being filmed, so you could go back and you can see what's happening. I, I uploaded last class's uh, video to YouTube, but you should stay with this. I'm going to check Seesaw on Friday, tomorrow. I'm going to be like, okay, do they know one point? Do they know two point? Did they explain how to do it in their fire rights? Are they practicing form? These are the questions I'm going to ask myself. Okay, so this line, again, I was blabbing. I made sure it was at 90 degrees with the horizon line. How are you doing, Andrea? Do you, like, understand what we're doing? Or are you like, what's going on? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this weekend, you go all out. You go crazy with these perspective assignments. And you post, it's like Perspective City on Seesaw. Okay. All right, here. Everyone, you got to practice. You got to practice. Connect this one. Okay. I, I, I'm about to jump. And this is where I lose kids. So I need you to look up. I need you all to look up right now. I'm about to lose you. Okay. So this is parallel to this is parallel to this. Are you all watching? I have no idea if you're watching. This is the weirdest thing ever. Okay. I'm going to go to the opposite vanishing point. To close off the top of the box, I'm going to the opposite vanishing point. So go ahead, like put your ruler where the blue and the red intersect. Line it up with your vanishing point. Make sure it's lined up and then connect it. Voila! Ça c'est bon! And this is the other color, like the weird converging line. Because this is where I lose kids and kids are like, I don't get it. Right? So <laughs> this... Is the yellow is where we go opposite points. Opposite. Okay. This to five. Five, I got it. One. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Um three. I I already okay, Jose, you got this, babe. If it looks funny, maybe your lines aren't straight up and down. I'm gonna tell you guys. Karen, I love that you're sticking with me, Karen. Don't give up. Don't stop believing. Okay, Chanel's like, I got it. Okay. All right. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it a second time. Okay? And it's going to be posted to Seesaw. Hold on to that fear. Thank you, Andy, for singing with me via chat. Isn't that funny that we can sing via chat? Okay, opposite side. Right corner where the blue and the red intersect. Right corner to the vanishing point. The left vanishing point, we're going to reach across. Oh, my gosh, that's weird. And this is why I am using a different color for these converging lines. These are also converging lines, but it's weird. It's like we're reaching across. Like, what? Yoink. Miss, I messed up, but I will try it again later and fix it. Yes, and guess what, Brittany? You get points for um, posting it. You know, like, even if it's wrong, you get your points. Get your points, get your points, get your points. All right. 
Do we have drawings that kind of look like this? Nice. Brittany's like, yes. Um, not yes. Chess. Yeah. 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 Karen, are you still with me? Miss, something seems crooked. Yeah, it's probably like... If it seems crooked, your lines might not be parallel. That's why I was going over parallel lines. Like these might not be at a 90. Now, it could be completely right. And you're like, no, it looks wrong. It could be totally right. Because at first it takes us a while to get used to this. But once we add the shading, it will look cool. So let's pretend there is a sun right here. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Okay, and it's coming down and it's like shining right there. Okay, now here's what's tricky. This is what I'm still learning, how to draw the shadow. But I'm pretty sure the shadow is just an extension of the vanishing point. So if I'm drawing a shadow, I would kind of line up the vanishing point with the bottom corner, like so. It look okay. I love it, Karen. And then when you're here, normally if this was in a practice drawing, oh my gosh, my teeth just hurt when I erased. Does that ever happen to you guys? Okay, normally I would erase all that, but they, these aren't like notes. These are drawing skill building. But what you would do now is you would really get your sharp pencil, get your line weight, and darken the edges. Let's zoom in, zoom in. Really darken the edges. Make the top, make that front corner really dark. And then darken the edges here now that you have the angles. And you can use your ruler for this part. Like, you can if you want, you know? You can be like, oh my god, I'm gonna mess it up. I don't want to. But I kind of think lines look cool when they're a little freehand. But you do need to have your rulers right so everything's lined up. Okay, now, because my sun's over here. Here comes the sun. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I want you guys to think if you want to do one point after this or if you want to do another two point. So I want you to think to yourself as we're shading, like, do I, should I do this a second time? Okay, so my darkest side would probably be right here. So I'm going to add several layers. Gosh, the world feels like it's falling apart, but I feel like I have so much peace when I'm drawing. I'm like, ah. Oh. Guys, drawing shouldn't be stressful. If it's feeling stressful, talk to me. Because I don't want you to be stressed out. I want you to be happy. It's seeing a rectangular cube. What do you mean? Like it's it's not 3D, Saul? Okay, this one, this side is going to be lighter. Because the light's kind of pouring in on this side. You're seeing, if, if you're like, oh, wow, this is 3D, then that's good. That's what we're drawing. And we went over the objective and the criteria of success. Da, 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 da. I feel like I made that side too dark, but I'm not going to trip. Mine is weird, though. Okay, so this is what we're doing. We are going to post this to Seesaw right now, and we're going to figure out if it looks weird, why. I'm going to do that right now. And then you, those of you who get this, go crazy, start drawing. So if you're like, oh, yours is spot on, draw like crazy. But we're going to like post a seesaw. Right now, we're going to figure out what's going on. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing in the neighborhood. A beautiful thing in the neighborhood. Okay, I think I am going to add some hatching with my eraser there. And here's a secret. Um, when you're doing cross hatching, it looks so cool if your hatching is going towards the vanishing point. And really darken that edge. If you have the darker pencils, you can get out like your darker bold pencils. And like really darken that up. Okay, let's see. So I have a 3B here. Bold means dark. So you can really go crazy and darken one side if you want. Maybe you want to blend it. And then, wow, I could really make this dark. You could spend hours. Check out Wilson's YouTube page. You spend hours, hours shading. Right, but we're just kind of like learning and practicing now, making sure we got the angles right. So I could shade all around this if I wanted. Um, 
and I could then bring that up, that little highlight up, maybe go a little bit more gentle, because this is where my light is hitting. Maybe I, maybe some light would be shooting across, so I can pull that up with my eraser. Um, maybe to have my highlight pop, I would darken the sides a little bit more. It's all about value. Don't be afraid to go too dark. Don't be afraid. You'll see the cityscapes that are really cool have dark value. So this weekend you can play with watercolor and kind of painting around your buildings or your boxes or whatever. You can add things and kind of explore. But I want you to practice this all weekend. And if you don't have two point, or if you don't know one point, like if you didn't get this, you're going to go back and you're going to do that. Okay? So I want to like, I want it to be box city. Two points. So those of you who are ready to move on, I want you to try doing a second box. I do another box right here. And you may not have space if it's too close. So you could do a page where your vanishing points are farther apart, farther apart. And then just try it, try it like that. And you could like switch up the light source and just basically practice one and two point all weekend and over post to seesaw. Okay, everyone stop and post. <laughs>